bộ sản phẩm an bảo sạch mục chống thâm mơ sẹo Okay, so I arrived this morning at 8.30 a.m. And I went into surgery. I got a new, it's just a minor surgery, but I got a new port with all these lovely tubes coming out. Um, so I was in the recovery room for that for about four to five hours. And I arrived to my room this afternoon, uh, which was pretty exciting. Okay. So I arrived this morning at 8.30 a.m. And I went into surgery. I got a new, it's just a minor surgery, but I got a new port with all these lovely tubes coming out. Um, so I was in the recovery room for that for about four to five hours. And I arrived to my room this afternoon, uh, which was pretty exciting. It's really big. And it does feel like a dorm room. I'm going to turn my computer around so that you can see it. It's a little dark. I have a great view onto the small park. But see, I have a desk and a couch and a TV. And I put my pictures up and my books. It's pretty snazzy here, though. I feel, like, excited, honestly. It does feel like I've, like, moved into a new, like, I'm going to boarding school or, um, I'm going to college. It's really big, and it does feel like a dorm room. I'm going to turn my computer around so that you can see it. It's a little dark. I have a great view onto the small park. But see, I have a desk and a couch and a TV, and I put my pictures up and my books. It's pretty snazzy here, though. I feel, like, excited, honestly. It does feel like I've, like, moved into... A new, like I'm going to boarding school or um, I'm going to college. You know, it's like I have new iPod speakers and all this stuff. Obviously, I think I'm in denial a little bit um, about what's going to happen, but I'm feeling pretty confident about things. Um, and I feel good physically, other than some pain in my neck. I can't really turn my head that well. You know, it's like I have new iPod speakers and all this stuff. Obviously, I think I'm in denial a little bit um, about what's going to happen. But I'm feeling pretty confident about things. Um, and I feel good physically, other than some pain in my neck. I can't really turn my head that well. But um, I'm trying not to give myself any illusions because the last time there were the first time I went into the hospital, you know, I felt equally excited and really sort of like amazed by all this new stuff and all these new things happening to me. But, um, I'm trying not to give myself any illusions because the last time there were the first time I went into the hospital, you know, I felt equally excited and really sort of like amazed by all this new stuff and all these new things happening to me. And I felt like that maybe for a week. And then when I got sick, that newness and that excitement faded very quickly. And um, very soon after that, I was feeling kind of cooped up and a little crazy and desperate to go outside and get some fresh air. Um, and this is more extreme because I'm not even allowed to walk outside my room. And I felt like that maybe for a week. And then when I got sick, that newness and that excitement faded very quickly. And um, very soon after that, I was feeling kind of cooped up and a little crazy and desperate to go outside and get some fresh air. Um, and this is more extreme because I'm not even allowed to walk outside my room. It's been really exciting for me because since my piece came out last Thursday, I've gotten so many emails and messages from people all over the world and lots and lots of young women around my age with everything from breast cancer to colon cancer to leukemia, etc. 
it's been really exciting for me because since my piece came out last Thursday, I've gotten so many emails and messages from people all over the world and lots and lots of young women around my age with everything from breast cancer to colon cancer to leukemia, etc. Um, I'm really excited about feeling connected to this new community. I anticipate that at some point I'm going to be too tired to do any writing. So I have a, a list of silly rom-coms to force my boyfriend to watch with me, which will be pretty exciting. Um, Sleepy can come too. <laughs> Um, I'm really excited about feeling connected to this new community. I anticipate that at some point I'm going to be too tired to do any writing. So I have a, a list of silly rom-coms to force my boyfriend to watch with me, which will be pretty exciting. Um, Sleepy can come too. <laughs>
a new, like I'm going to boarding school or um, I'm going to college. You know, it's like I have new iPod speakers and all this stuff. Obviously, I think I'm in denial a little bit um, about what's going to happen. But I'm feeling pretty confident about things. Um, and I feel good physically other than some pain in my neck. I can't really turn my head that well. But um, I'm trying not to give myself any illusions because the last time, there were the first time I went into the hospital, you know, I felt equally excited and really sort of like amazed by all this new stuff and all these new things happening to me. And I felt like that maybe for a week. And then when I got sick, that newness and that excitement faded very quickly. And um, very soon after that, I was feeling kind of cooped up and a little crazy and desperate to go outside and get some fresh air. Um, And this is more extreme because I'm not even allowed to walk outside my room. It's been really exciting for me because since my piece came out, Last Thursday, I've gotten so many emails and messages from people all over the world and lots and lots of young women around my age with everything from breast cancer to colon cancer to leukemia, etc. I'm really excited about feeling connected to this new community. I anticipate that at some point I'm going to be too tired to do any writing, so... I have a, a list of silly rom-coms to force my boyfriend to watch with me, which will be pretty exciting. Uh, Sleepy can come too. <laughs>